Welcome friends to week number 7 of the Muskrat Link Sim Tour, where we battle against the best golfers in the world for cash, titles, and most importantly, points to secure our place on tour. Be sure you are subscribed to support this exclusive content. Let's head over to the first tee at Whistling Straits. And now for our 9.45 tee time, currently 13th in points on the Cornfield Tour, from New Hampshire, Kyler Gauthier. Thank you. Thanks everybody, much appreciated. There we go, hit that one a little bit off the heel. It's trying to work its way back. Not the biggest drive ever, but that should be good. We'll have a look into this green. 133 left into this par four pin, kind of tucked in the back left. They're gonna be tricky. So I guess I'll go right for it and let it fade back to the middle. That should be good. Played nice and safe to the center of the green there. Give me a little spin and hold. Okay, could be a tricky putt left, but that's a putt for birdie. Good job on the first. 29 feet left downhill here to the hole. Actually not too bad of a putt because they kind of cancel each other out. A little bit left to right, a little bit right to left. Let's go right there and see what happens. They're on the way. Break back a little bit, settle in, settle in. Okay, that's a pretty good first putt. We will take that. It was make speed the whole way, par on the first. 560 yard par five up here next. It's the easiest hole in the course. So let's see if we can stay out of trouble and give ourselves a look at birdie perhaps. Pretty good looking drive there. We drew it a little bit instead of fading it, which is okay. Bounce around. Fairway bunker, not too much of a lip though. So we should be able to give it a run down to the green. 281 left in here. The issue is this fairway is super tiny. So I don't think it's worth trying to like place one out in the fairway. We might just end up in the rough. So I think I'm just gonna rip the forward straight at it and deal with the consequences up here. We are up and out. Can we quite get up to the fairway? No, bouncing back down into the fairway bunker. Shouldn't have too much of a problem from here though. Let's get this approach on the dance floor. 80 yards from the sand here, probably playing about 85, 90. We definitely wanna go past this hole as well because we are on a ridge and we do not wanna end up down in those bunkers. All right, let's give this a shot. Up and out, do we have the right distance? We put it long, spin for me a little. Okay, we just hold the back of the green, that'll work. We got a putt at birdie. 36 feet remain here, down the hill, left to right, quite a bit running away from us. We really wanna make sure we leave this one close. It's on the way, heading down the hill. Let's see if we can get down by the hole. Settle in there, settle. That's really good speed. Okay, we will take that par par to start on to hole number three. 169 yard hole up here next. Pin is right in the middle, so that's looking great. We'll probably aim a little bit left and we'll hit our, it's probably gonna be a nice light seven. Caught that a little heavy, so it's gonna be a little short, but we do land on the dance floor, roll out a little bit. Not the worst shot we've ever seen. Another long birdie putt. Whistling straight, sure had some big green, so I think our lag putting is gonna be very important today. And here's the first example, 36 feet downhill, huge right to left breaker. Let's see if we can leave this within six feet. Hang in there, ball, settle. I might've hit that a little too hard. Cup, get in the way. Oh, the cup does get in the way. Thank goodness we hit that cup. That was gonna go more than six feet past, but we'll take it. A par is a par, let's go. Even through three, it leaves us tied for 35th place. Tough conditions out there today on a tough course. Let's see if we can keep it together. 442 yard par four coming up here next. Very skinny fairway again here. Let's just try to get it out there. Somewhere up around this mound should be ideal. Oh, we tug that one left. We're gonna be in a little bit of trouble. Kick up to the right maybe, do me a favor. Yes, stays out of the bunkers, that is okay. Flirting with disaster though, let's keep an eye on that. 162 left in here, another tucked pin. I gotta keep an eye on these pin placements because I'm not giving myself good looks, but all right, it's gonna be seven iron again, kind of just to the middle of the green. It's up and on the way, get there, no problem. Yep, that's exactly the shot we were trying to hit. Float it to the center, give ourselves another birdie look. It'll work for us today. 35 footer, pretty flat in here. So that's looking good. A little bit downhill, a little bit uphill, little left to right, little right to left. I think it's a little more left to right. So we'll start it just outside that left edge. I like the speed of this putt better. Is it gonna be the right one? Go, go, go. Oh, just a little short, but again, that's okay. Steady golf so far. One of the signature holes at Whistling Straits up here next. 
par five, huge dog leg around the corner with water everywhere. 300 to carry the end of this. This is just a disaster waiting to happen hole. If you can't hit the fairway here, you are in a lot of trouble. Just a nice smooth fairway finder is what I was going for there. Aim left, played my fade, hit the fairway. Okay, that's a big load off my shoulders because that's a really intimidating drive. 272 left in here. I definitely can't get there, so I don't think I'm gonna risk hitting that four wood. Let's just hit like a, a smooth six iron, seven iron, put it somewhere out in the middle here and give ourselves a look. Maybe a little too smooth there. We faded it a bit, kick back into the fairway for me. It's trying. Oh, oh, just missed the fairway. That's okay, that's a nice clean look into this green. 102 yards left into this flag. Ooh, it's kind of sitting on a ridge as well. That's gonna be really tough to hit. All right, I think if we swing hard on a 56, it might just be the right number. We got that one a little heavy. I think it's just gonna creep up the front, but that's kind of what we were trying to do there. So not bad at all. Another look at birdie. I think we've hit every green today, but maybe only one fairway. A 23 footer that it wants me to hit 39 feet. That is scary. And I don't know if I want to do that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, again, six feet is what I'm looking for. What is this pin placement? Jeez. Be good. Settle in, settle in, settle in, hold. Six feet, I'm pretty sure that's inside of six feet. Yes, four feet. Another scary putt out of the way, another par. 384 yard par four up here next. 280 to these bunkers up there on the left on the hill. So we'll probably just aim there, give it a little bit of fade again and see if we can hit a fairway. Beautiful looking drive there, pretty much dead straight, maybe even drew it a little bit. Kick back to the right, maybe we hit a fairway. Not quite, but again, that's gonna be a good angle into this green, I think. 112 left in here in the light rough. Pin again, just tucked in there. These are difficult pin placements. All right, I think we're gonna aim a little bit to the left here, let it fade back a smidge and just try to land it probably right at the flag almost. I pulled it a little bit. It's trying to fade back for me, catch some green. Yes, indeed, another green in regulation, another monster birdie putt. Huge swinger left or right here for birdie. We cannot catch a break today. This putt at least looks a little bit more inviting for speed though, because it kind of just works its way down this hill and then hangs out down by the hole. So hopefully we can leave this one close. The kick is up. I don't think I got all of that one. Needs to run a little bit for me. Get down there, get down there. Six feet, come on. Show me the six feet. It is six feet. Oh no, I should have just asked it to show me five. Go to the scorecards. Yes, we will take that. Again, steady, steady golf. I think we've hit every green and two putt every green so far. All right, let's see where that leaves us. Even par through six holes. We are keeping it together, tied for 33rd now. Again, let's see what we can do to get through the rest of these front nine holes. Daunting par three up here, 216 yards. Beach calling our name down to the right. Ooh, I think we might just wanna to try to hit the front of this green and, and see what we can do with that. It's either gonna be four iron or nine wood. Uh, the four iron's probably a little bit safer just cause I'm not gonna slice it. You never know with the nine wood. So we'll take a four iron and just hope for the best. Pulled it a little bit. So it's a little bit scary. Good thing we aimed out to the left. Landing in the green side bunkers. Okay, that definitely could have been worse, but this is gonna be a really tricky bunker shot. And by tricky, I mean next to impossible. Okay, we need to get this really high up really quickly and see if we can just get out of the bunker. That's the goal. We don't care where this ends up on the green. All right, sports fans, we've actually got the 58 in the bag today for situations like this because I ran into it a few times on previous courses where I just needed some more loft. So let's see how it does. Get out of there. Yes! Huge result, what a bunker shot, that is fantastic. I don't think that's inside of six feet, but that is an amazing shot. 58 tries to redeem himself, let's go. Seven feet left here, right to left, have to aim just outside the hole, I think. Let's be firm and let's get out of here with a par. Be good, be good. Yes, that is a huge clutch par to make. I'm pumped about that, let's go. 474 yard par four up here next. This is a long one. We just wanna stay out of trouble though. See if we can give ourselves an approach. So yeah, anything up here by these bunkers, that's probably gonna be about where we end up. So let's see if we can hit the fairway. Carving down there, a little bit slicier than I wanted, but that's okay, it's still gonna work out for us. Not the biggest drive in the world, but it is a fairway and we've got to look into this green. 204 left into this green here, kind of looking exactly like our last par three we just had. So I think I'm just gonna take the four iron again and see if I can not slice it into the water. 
That is a much better four iron. Perfect. Actually probably took a little too much club. Might miss this green over the back, but that is okay. Let's see if we can chip this one close and get a tap in par. 17 yards left here from the green side rough. Going pretty straight by the hole too. So I think we can go right at this thing. All right, let's see if we can get this one tight. Oh, be good. Oh, it just scared the hole and it's a little too hot. Got a little too aggressive with that. All right, now we've got a challenging par putt that we need to drain. 12 feet down the hill a little bit here. Big left to right breaker. This is a huge putt in the match for us. Ooh, this is tricky. I think we got to go like right about here. Do we have the right line? Stay up, stay up. Ah, not quite. All right, that's a really hard par four though, so I'm okay with birdie. We played it well, we just gotta get our chipping dialed in. I mean, I'm okay with bogey. I would've been very okay with birdie. 414 yard par four up here next. Let's see how strong our bounce back game is. Looks like a pretty good hole for driving. Yeah, 290 up to that bunker. We should have plenty of room to work with. Again, sliced it a little bit there. I'm just not quite getting my weight all the way through these, but that's okay. That's gonna stay out of the bunker and give us a look into this green. 137 yards left here, 20 feet downhill. That's kind of going to cancel out the rough. So I think we'll probably just take a pitching wedge and see if we can run one up the front edge here. That's a good looking pitching wedge. Are we going to get up there? Bounce for me, bounce, bounce, bounce. Okay, not terrible. We didn't really want to bring the nine iron in play. So another chance to chip one close. All right, this one we definitely need to leave inside of six feet, which I think we can. It's kind of going back uphill, which is perfect. A little bit of right to left in it. I think we can chip this one in. Let's get this. Break, break, break. Oh, that's a really good chip though. Perfect speed. That's what we like to see. All right, one over on the front nine. Let's see where that leaves us. I like the way we're playing on this front nine. One over, tied for 44th. Let's see if we can bring that back under par on the back nine. 360 yard par four, dog leg left up here. Pin looks like it's kind of in the middle. So I think being over on the right is probably best. So this is actually a really good driving hole. We can really swing at this one. Yep, put some more muscle into that one. That one's gonna be going out there pretty nice. It is uphill though, so it's not gonna go super far, but hey, we'll take that right down the pipe. 87 yards left in here, 13 feet uphill. So it's probably playing about 90. Uh, it's just going to be a probably an 80% sand wedge here. I expect to get this close. Pushed it a hair. Distance control is looking pretty good though. Spin for me. All right. Not terrible, but we'll take a putt at birdie. 21 foot slider is what we've got left here for birdie. Again, should be pretty good speed because it is going back uphill a little bit towards the end as it gets close to the hole. So if we just kind of get this lined up right, which is pretty much impossible, we should be out of here with a par at least. Oh, I should have aimed that a lot higher. Please get there. Go ball, go. That is not a good effort. And it's probably not going to be six feet either. Nope, seven feet. We didn't deserve that. That was a bad putt. All right, let's clean up this mess. The good news is we left it on the low side. So it's not that bad. We at least get to charge it back up the hill here. Probably just outside the cup, maybe a cup outside left. Firm, we should be good. Be good, be good. Yes, okay. That was a bit of a sweat, but that is another par. All right, we got to start making some birdies here. Next hole, birdie, I guarantee it. 537 yard par five. It is indeed a good hole to make a birdie on. What do we got here for driving? I see those two bunkers out there, 280 to these guys. So yeah, aim here. I want to try to hit this one a little straighter though. Let's see if we can get that weight distribution correct. Well, we got our weight through, that's for sure. We hit it straight, but we kind of pulled it. Save me? Oh, what a kick. We were aiming for that the whole time. What a great dive that is. We will take that 10 times out of 10. 263 yards left into this par five. I don't think we really have a realistic chance of getting to the green here. It is 230, 240 to carry these bunkers, which I don't think we have in the bag at this point. So we will aim out here, try to get it just short of this bunker, actually. 169 yards to there. That leaves us about 100 in. Yeah, that's good. I like that number. Let's aim here with a eight iron. Push that one a little bit, but I think it's going to be okay. Get a kick off the hill for me. Yeah, this is the hole of good bounces. We hit another fairway. Let's see what that leaves us in, but I think that is going to be prime for like a pitching wedge area. Yeah, 118 left in. Let's go. That 118 is playing up to about 125, I would say. Tiny green here. Yeah, I think we'll just take a nice smooth pitching wedge and see if we can get this on the dance floor. Looking decent. Come off that ridge for me. Don't go up high. Spin back down. Come down. 
Oh no, it's stuck up there. This putt is gonna be a nightmare. Yeah, that is not what we are hoping for. Big right to left breaker here down the hill as well. This is a scary looking putt. We gotta aim way out here and just hope it breaks down and see if we can get our speed right. Be right, speed be okay. Keep breaking, keep breaking. Okay, that's a nice safe little putt there. Out with another par, onto the next hole. Well, we didn't get our birdie on the last one. Let's see what we can do here. Another extremely scary looking hole, 161, 13 feet downhill, probably playing about 152 as a result. So I think we'll just take a nine iron and if we come up short on this green, that is a-okay. Caught that one a little thin. That is not what we were looking to do. Stay safe, oh no, back down there. That is not good, everybody. Ah, that was a pretty poor swing I put on that one. Now we have to recover. My goodness, I don't know if we can even get up out of here. That is very, very steep. Ooh, 28 yards, 17 feet uphill. But does it even get any better if we aim way over here to the left? Like, is that any easier than just going right at it? I don't know if that saves us much trouble. I think we still pretty much try to aim right at this pin and just swing hard and get it up as fast as we can go yes what a great out oh that is fantastic what a shot okay we've been in some tough situations today and made some really good recoveries can we save another par and a fairly flat putt is our reward here as well we're going to keep this inside the hole 12 feet let's bang this home be good be good hold what how does that not lift in are you kidding me Oh, that is no good at all. All right, that one hurts a little bit. We gotta make up some strokes now. No birdies today, let's get that going. Okay, we need birdies and now. 369 yard par four here. This is another good driving hole. As long as we keep it safe up the left side here, we should be all set to approach this green. Pin is in the back right as well, so left is good. Well, we hit that one left. In fact, we flew the entire fairway. Okay, let's not let this round fall apart here. Let's make our recovery, get this shot down by the green, and make our par. That's the goal now, make a par. 132 left on our recovery, 19 feet downhill. We do not want to go long at all. Oof, that's tricky. Yeah, I think we're just going to take the, uh, the 52 degree here and not bring the water into play. That's looking pretty good. Bounce on up there. That's what we wanted to do. Keeping it safe, just the front edge of the green, up and down for par. Little 16 yard chip here next, right to left. And this one actually fits my eye really well. I like the look of this chip. We're gonna go right down this line, let it curl back a little bit at the end. Let's see if we can stick this one close. Let's scare the hole here. Well, I like the look of it. Hang on, hang on, settle. Ooh, I think we're gonna have to putt that, but okay, I'll take it. That's a good chip. It rolled back a little bit. Did you see that? Six feet, did it just roll back into the six foot happy zone for me? No, it didn't. Okay, well, thanks for trying a ball. Let's make this putt. A little bit left to right in this one. I do not want to miss another putt on the low side. So let's just go right there and be firm. Nice and firm. Break. Oh my goodness. If that missed high side, I might have lost it. But all right, we saved par in this hole. That was the goal. I got to swap cameras around real quick because we're out of battery here. And I'll join you guys on the next one. Two over par on the tournament leaves us tied for 52nd. We are just hanging out above the cut line right now. We cannot afford to drop any more strokes. Let's keep it clean from here on out. Five holes to go here to make something happen. We've got a 381 yard par four. Looks like the pin is in the back right there. So another tricky approach where we got 290 to the end of that bunker, 270 to right about here. So yeah, I think as long as we can keep it somewhere in the fairway, at least we'll have a chance here. Little bit pushy, but I think that's gonna be okay. Maybe even get a kick left for me, staying in the fairway. Beautiful, not the longest drive in the world, but we will take it. 123 yards left into this hole, a little bit downhill, so that's gonna about play the number. Probably a nice smooth pitching wedge right to the center of this green could be good. I really wanna get one close. We haven't had a realistic birdie look yet today. Maybe this is the one. That's come out thin as well, so that's not gonna be great. Hold on there, hold on. Oh, dang, not the best bounce. Missed the green. All right, let's see if we can save ourselves from the sand one more time today. Again, pretty significant lip here. Can the 58 bail us out one more time? I like that ridge on the left, ridge on the right. So that's pretty okay for ending up down by the green. We just got to get it up and out of here. It's up, 
and it is out. What a shot again from the 58. Okay, 58 out of the sand. This might be the club we need. That's inside six feet as well, so yes, sir. Another par save, let's go. Pars are good, but we really need like one more birdie here coming down the stretch, or our first birdie coming down the stretch realistically, if we wanna make sure we make this cut. So let's put a good drive on this, 439 yards, and see if we can leave ourselves approaching to the green. That is heading off to the right. I knew I sliced across that one right when I hit it. I was trying to be a little too smooth. Stay away from the lips. All right, I think that's gonna be okay. We should have a look from here. It is a look, but it's a very long one. 183 yards, eight feet uphill. Ooh, I think we can get the nine wood over the lip though. I think that's gonna be our play. That'll give us the loft we need to get up and out of here and run something down towards the green, so. She does get up and out. That is looking good. Anything down by the green is perfect for us. Green side is fine. We'll take a little chip. Let's go. In the tall grass here, looks like a 15 yard chip releasing out downhill towards the hole so we can be pretty dainty with this one. Looks like a little left to right in the end, so we'll just aim a little bit out there. But hey, this could go in, let's go. Up and out of the reeds, heading down the hill. Go, 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 go. Beautiful looking chip there. That is inside six feet. We didn't really scare the hole on that one, so it wasn't fantastic, but good enough, gets the job done. Next hole. All right, it is time to be a little aggressive here. We need a birdie, and this looks like the par five to do it on. 524 yards here, kind of zigzagging all the way down to the green. All right, what do we got to this first little bump out? It's 317 to about here, so we're probably pretty safe trying to hit the fairway somewhere in here. If we can get one good drive on this, we can have a shot into this green, so let's make this one count. Yes, that is the drive we've been looking for all day today. Dead straight, carrying 260. That is absolutely perfect. Let's see if we can get a birdie here. Now's the time to do it. All right, let's assess this situation. We've got 236 to this pin, 14 feet uphill, so it's playing 240. Not too much scary stuff out here. What is it down here? Okay, that's scary, so a tow hook is gonna be bad for us, but I feel like, can we try to approach this green? What is it to carry? 216 to carry these bunkers. I think that's reasonable, you know? Man, I'd love to hit a nine wooden draw one in there, but I don't know if I have that in my locker. I think we're just gonna to try to hit the four wood as straight as we can. And if it ends up out here on the right, maybe even in this bunker, that's A-OK. -okay. But we're gonna give the four wood a chance. This is a big moment. Nope, towed it. Not the cleanest connection there. But again, it's safe. We knew that was the play. We knew what to expect. We ended up in the place we said we were probably gonna end up. So that's OK. Let's chip this on in the green and give ourselves a good birdie look. Let's see what we got out of here. 32 yards funneling down towards the hole. I like that. I don't like that it's downhill though. That means we have to get the speed right. But if we land this up in this area, it's just going to be fine because it's kind of a nice ridge that runs all along there. So anything kind of landed in here is just going to start creeping down. So that would be perfect. All right, this is a good one to get close. We can do this. Let's give it a shot. It's up and out. Settle, hit the pin. Settle, settle, settle. Oh, what a clutch shot. That is fantastic. We pulled it a little bit and that worked out pretty well. So, all right, we escape with a birdie. That's what we're talking about, back on the right track. That is a big birdie for us. One over through 16, tied for 33rd now. Let's hold on and let's make this cut. Boy, the par threes out here are not easy. It's 216 yards because the pin is so far in the back today cliff side to the left here absolute chaos if we go down there honestly i think i'm just going to hit the nine wood it's been fairly consistent for us i'm going to play it out to the right a little bit though play it more over here just because you know it has a tendency to draw if i do miss so we're just going to play the nine wood right there see if we can get something on the green that's a good looking nine wood it's going right at it actually be the right number settle in there hold 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 Wow, what a shot. That is probably shot of the tournament so far for us. Absolutely clutch nine wood. Whew, putt for bird, let's go. After that absolute beauty, this feels like the first birdie putt we can actually make today. Left to right, a fair bit, little bit uphill. Well, it looks like it's a little bit downhill, but I think it kind of changes in the middle. So probably right about there seems good. Just a cup outside left. Let's be firm. Let's make sure we give this a run. Be good to us. Turn. Oh, I didn't turn. We putt through the break. Dang it. Man, I can't quite figure out the putting today. It's just not working out for us, but 
All right, I mean, getting a par on that hole is pretty good, but that's a missed opportunity there for us. Still one over on the day, tied for 30th now. Looks like a couple people dropped strokes on that par three, which makes sense. One hole to play. 439 yard par four up here next with a creek in the middle of it. That's a bit scary. 280 to that creek. Oh yes, I remember this hole actually. I've seen this on TV so many times. All right, this is a fantastic hole. I don't know if I wanna risk driver because it's 260 to the front here, which we can definitely reach. Um, I guess we'll just aim left. No, we really do not wanna risk driver. Yeah, let's just hit the forward, aim far left, let it fade back and have a nice long approach here. Man, really sliced that forward, but I think it's gonna work out well for us since we aimed so far left. Yep, right into the nice safety zone here. It's gonna be a long approach, but it's gonna be a clean approach. We played it safe there. We played it smart there. Now we've got a nice clean look into this green. Pin is at the back, 11 feet downhill. I think it's just gonna be a four iron right to the center of the green, and that should leave us in good shape, hopefully with a putt for birdie. Overfaded it a little bit again. Gonna be in the green side bunker probably. That's okay, we've been doing all right from the bunkers today, but do we have one more sand save in us? If we can stick this tight, that will ensure that we make the cut here. A Little bit of right to left down by the hole. It does run away from us, so we do need to be careful about that. We'll go here, we gotta go right in between these two bushes hanging out on the side of this bunker. I think this is a good play though. I want to run out a little bit more, so I'm gonna aim a little bit further to the right. All right, let's get this thing up and on and close. It's up, it's on, is it close? Settle! Oh, it's not the closest putt we've seen, but it's a putt. We'll take it anyway. We got ourselves out of the bunker. Let's roll this in, see if we can get a par. We kind of took safety first there out of the bunker. I think we'll be okay even if we make bogey here, but I want to stay in contention. Let's make a par. 19 feet back up the hill for a 13 foot putt. Quite a bit of break in it. Left to right, I think we'll aim just inside this line, maybe right on the line. All right, last putt of the day, let's go. Can we end with a bang? Turn, baby, turn, baby. Oh, just outside on the high side. All right, that is gonna be a bogey to end it. I think that drops us back to two over on the tournament. I'm happy with that. We just barely made the cut. Let's sign the scorecard, go over to the media tent and answer some questions. Not a bad performance today and wearing shorts as well. Did that contribute to your play? I don't know if it necessarily contributed to the play, but uh, I ditched those shorts pretty quick. As you can see, I changed into street clothes here, but uh, overall, yeah, pretty tough course, but I'm happy with the results so far. First time playing on whistling straights, we'll take a two over. Lots of fairways and greens and regulations. Do you think you played a little too safe? Uh, not necessarily too safe. I think I put myself in pretty good positions today. Uh, the pins were really tucked. They were in some pretty inaccessible locations, so I never really could get close to them. Uh, that being said, we definitely want to dial it in a little bit and be a little bit more aggressive tomorrow if we want to score. Going into tomorrow, do you feel like you have anything to prove? Yeah, so this is a pretty big tournament, actually. Because we made the cut, we're going to be getting points. But the difference between finishing like 59th and 17th isn't that many points. So if we want to get some points here, we really have to go out there and fire like a, a three under or a four under. So for us to stay in that top 15 and get one of those tour cards at the end of the year, this is a result where we need to cash in on some points. So tomorrow, next round is going to be big. I can't wait. We'll see how we do. All right. Thanks, everybody.